Did you feel that? She looked down through her thick, tousled hair, wiping it back away from her face, covered in sweat, trying to catch her breath, looking down at her lover, still feeling her nipples on his chest, tangled in the sheets, sunshine streaming in across the bed, and eyes shining with orgasmic thunder. Breathless, he gasped out, no, what do you mean? Still, sitting still now, except for the pulsing of her pussy, gripping and releasing his cock still erect, his hands on her hips, trying to continue fucking. <coughs> Stop, wait, what was that? Oh, it must have just been an earthquake, small, probably less than 4.0, probably way out in Hercules or something. Come on, <laughs> come to me, oh, cut your heart. And with that, he strained his head up to her hanging breasts to fill his mouth, sucking in deep, and her body began to rock again, loving all the sensations he was giving her. But today's the judgment day. That crazy guy out in Alameda, he predicted all this. He wasn't stopping. She continued gazing at him, his mouth on her breast, moaning, thrusting his cock into her, feeling her juices squirt out, leaving two wet spots under her knees as it ran down her thighs, puddling, splashing, queefing, undistracted, pumping away, her head now flying back, neck limp, hair falling over her face, breathing hard. Oh, the earthquakes, they start today, continue for the next five months, with the world finally ending in October. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> oh, oh, don't stop. At every grind of her hips, like a lap on the Indy 500, burning that rubber, and crying out like a choir, seeing God and a whole host of angels, feeling their light, feeling another quake, and this one stronger, moving the bed, Walls cracking, ceiling plaster falling. <laughs>